Welcome back. Uh, just to share how you would actually answer these questions on Adfinity. This looks a bit complicated, but it's really quite simple. So uh, there's a couple of toggles here. If your lines are solid, then you, well, obviously you pick solid. For us, since both of them were solid, I'm going to drag this little dot and push it over. Had they both been dashed, then you would toggle both of these over to the dash side. So the first thing you're telling Adfinity is what type of lines do you have? And then what you want to do is move the points so that you can actually graph the line. So the first line I'm going to graph is the one that had the x-intercept of negative 5 and the y-intercept of negative 2. The second line started at 2 and moved up uh, 2 and over 5. So that's right there. So once you've done this, then you have these four little red dots. So the four dots basically tell you uh, where the solutions are. So if I were to pick this red dot and place it here, then it's basically telling Adfinity, hey, the solutions are all here and here as well. For us, that region did not have any solutions. And in fact, it was just these. It doesn't matter that it's not like one dot can only be in one region. But I mean, you can put the dot here. You can put this dot all the way in the corner here. It doesn't matter. Adfinity is just looking at the location of this dot and saying, if there's a dot present in this region, that means that's where the solutions are. If the dot is not present, like in this region, then there's no solutions there. So this is for an or statement. You're covering everything that is covered from the rain. Had this been an and problem, like the second one we did, then I would need to put all the red dots in this region. Because then that means that only uh, this region has the solutions because that's where the overlap was. That's where the two uh, regions were on top of each other. Hopefully this helps, but that's really about it.